The Lost Mantle of Elijah, an audiobook adventure by Lewis Critchley, narrated by Hugo Weaving. For those who dare to believe the impossible. Chapter 1. Baxter survives a doomed pirate ship carrying an ominous prophecy about a black church. He pursues thieves who stole a dangerous book. to a mountain that is burning with fire. To such a voice speaking words that those who heard it begged that no further word be spoken to them. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God. You have come to God, to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant. Elijah, Elijah, what are you doing here, Elijah? I have been very jealous for you, Lord. For your people of Israel have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, slain your prophets with the sword, and I, even I only, am left. And they seek my life to take it away. Elijah, when my people turned away from me, they broke my heart. I have decided to send them my son, the king, disguised as a soothsayer in the hope my people will turn to him. But though they may kill him, under orders from the man named Pilate, my dear son's death will become a sacrifice atoning for my people turning from me. But I will raise my son from the dead on the third day, and those believing in him shall receive from me eternal life and miraculous power once used with your cloak, the mantle. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. If your son, the soothsayer, must die for your people, let it be by my hand, which killed the prophets of Baal at the brook Kishon. May it be known by my killing your son that I, Elijah, your servant, carry out your will to turn your people's hearts back to you. So I shall change my name to Pilate. I shall remove my other self, my conscience, from me, and call it the name Sphinx. Then with a clear conscience I will sacrifice your son. After your son rises again, I will merge with my other self, the Sphinx, and work miracles again with the mantle of Elijah. I, Elijah, shall be both Pilate and the Sphinx. Thousands of years, Elijah's mantle was lost. He used it to work miracles on God's behalf. The prophet who does not die shall return to reclaim his mantle. It's in the prophecy. <laughs>
Could this be the very cloak of miracles? Things couldn't be going well if I was seeking the advice of a mermaid siren called Merson. She was known to lure sailors like me and their ships to their deaths in heeding her song. Maybe I was going to join them. I had half given up hope of finding Merson to guide me how to use the black book which damns souls. I had acquired it from Malik at the Black Church. Merson must have cast a spell on me as I awoke in a strange place. Every man who goes to sea knows the old stories, like Elijah in his miracle-working cloak, or his apprentice Elisha with the sacred arrows. The stories say Elijah never died, but went to heaven in a chariot of fire. I wish he died, because now, thousands of years after they say he was taken to heaven, Elijah is back down here as a pirate called Pilate, and he's not happy. Pilate's brother, Malik, has some part of Elijah trapped back there in the Black Church. Wouldn't have seen it if Pilate hadn't hijacked my ship and sent me there. I got some Black Book, but my men betrayed me stole it and left me here to drown at the whirlpool of Absalom. <sighs> this business isn't what it used to be. <sighs> My men. Gruesome and unsharp. We still have time to return the Black Boat to Malik and escape the curse that destroyed the crew of our ship. I don't think so. We're being followed. What? You won't usually blow the rum. A dog has swallowed the earth. Just as the man the pilot killed died. In an hour or so, whoever's name is in that black book shall be owned by Malik. I'm not easily scared, even if they trade my soul for gold. Let unsure. Your name is in that book, unsure. You promised we'd be rich, Grusom. It's Grusom. Grusom, and I won't tell you again. I can think of many names to call you. Yes, but if we take that black book, mm, right back to Malik, we will lead whoever is following us to the black church. At least Baxter couldn't escape the whirlpool of Absalom. I wouldn't bet on that. When he ordered us not to seek the sacred arrows, it was obvious that we would. Yes, but we failed. Well, we got this black book instead. Yes, but it says that the prophet who does not die shall return to reclaim his mantle. It's in the prophecy. Come on. No one believes that he went up to heaven on a chariot of fire. He'd be powerless without his mantle of miracles. That is why Malik left us a backup plan. Right, in case his brother got the book. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when you'd finally blow yourself to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But your name is on this as well, brother. <laughs>